What's going on, y'all? You are watching NFL Daily by Chat Sports. Mitchell Renz here, ready to break down five big name players that I think could actually be on the chopping block post June 1st. So what we're going to be going ahead and doing here is I'm going to tell you exactly why I think these five players could actually end up getting cut. The first guy I'm going to bring up here is tight end for the Philadelphia Eagles. Zach Ertz. If cut, the Eagles could save $8.5 million. Now, if you were to look at his contract right now, if the if Eagles were to actually move on from him, they would save only $4 million. So if you're telling me right now I could save an extra $4 million just by waiting a few days, they're going to go ahead and do that. Now, this has been one of those players that has been linked to like numerous, numerous trades for the simple fact of this. Zach Ertz believes that he deserves a contract extension. He's a very good tight end. And actually, when you think about it, I'm going to show you his numbers from last season. And he had some, you know, some, some injury issues. But just a few years ago, I mean, this man had 116 receptions behind only DeAndre Hopkins. But the injuries are starting to pile up. His overall fit in the offense is starting to pile up here a little bit. And if I'm Philadelphia you kind of knew that this is the route that they were going to go as soon as they went ahead and ended up drafting Dallas Goddard over a team like the Dallas Cowboys that ended up wanting him. And I understand that he's the tight end too, but if we're being realistic here, I if I'm running an NFL team, I would actually probably have Dallas Goddard over Zach Ertz at this point, whether in terms of just catching the football or also being a solid blocker. And for Philly, who is in cap hell right now, if you can save extra money, you got to go ahead and do it, which is exactly why I have Zach Ertz here on the list. So what I'm going to ask you guys to do is all five players that I end up bringing up, instead of, you know, hey, would you cut this guy, yes or no, I'm going to make you type their name or their initials if it's, you know, maybe difficult to spell. So if you think that Philadelphia – should end up cutting Zach Ertz. I want you to go down in the comments section on this video right now and type Ertz. Now, we consider ourselves a family around here at Chat Sports, right? Like, there's not too many YouTube channels out there that are as interactive as we are and actually see what you guys are typing and make shows around y'all. We literally do mailbags all the time. Why? We love the questions y'all ask. We love interacting with you. It's why we go live as often as what we do. So please join the Chat Sports family here. Help us get to 250,000 subscribers. So click that big red button underneath here. And if you're already a family member, that's awesome, man. Take the link youtube.com slash chat sports tv send it to some friends tell people like hey these guys they do a halfway decent job and they're 100 percent free dropping new videos literally every single day so join the family click that subscribe button the next player i'm going to be bringing up here is on the defensive side of the football and we're actually going to stick in the nfc east i'm going to go with landon collins if cut washington saves 218k so a lot of people are like wait a minute mitch if they're only going to save 218 k why would you decide to move on from Collins, who you're basically already going to have to pay him $16 million? Two reasons here. He might not be 100% healthy. Anytime you see a player that gets up there in age, and he's not really an old player, only 27 years old, but he missed nine games last season due to a ruptured Achilles. I've never ruptured my Achilles but all the reports coming out right now, there's some people that are a little bit worried if he's ever going to be the player that he once was. So if you're Washington and your ultimate plan is to really move on from him and start planning for your future at the safety position, maybe you move on from him now. Now, personally, if I'm the Washington football team, I almost did it, you know what I'm talking about. If I'm them, I actually think that I would keep him this year and then try to move on from him next year. But if the plan is to let some of these younger players fully develop and take that next step, then maybe that's the route you go ahead and do. Because, like, I like Collins. He's a good player. I liked him when he first started playing with the New York Giants. I thought he was a physical guy, could do a lot of different things. It's one of the biggest reasons why Washington offered him the amount of money they did. But if there's already reports and if there's already people inside that Washington locker room that are worried if he's ever going to be that player again, maybe it's a time to just move on from him. So let me know. I want you to type LC down in the comments section below if you think Washington should move on from Landon Collins. I mean, this is a football team here that won the division last year. I get it. NFC least. We called it that for a reason. But you had a quarterback that you got in here and Ryan Fitzpatrick. You got one of the better defenses in the entire league. If you think that you can win and Landon Collins can help you do that, I mean, maybe you just should go ahead and keep them. Speaking of keep them, we got to keep some of these awesome deals going on here because anytime we get new stuff, I want to be able to tell you all about it. Usually this t-shirt hat combo 
$49.99. Well, guess what? Take advantage of this deal right now. It's not going to last forever. Head on over to chatsports.com slash NFL combo where you can get the hat and t-shirt of your favorite NFL team. Now, I'm not going to go through all 32 teams here or else we're going to have an 80-minute video and Jeremy and I, we're trying to get the weekend started. So, if you know who your favorite team is, go to chatsports.com slash NFL combo and then all you got to do just search for your favorite team. It's not difficult. There's 32 combinations there. Get it. Click on it. Take advantage of the deal. I mean, 40% off right now. Last time I checked, that's pretty dang good. Comments, description, if you can't remember the link, again, it's below me, chatsports.com slash NFL combo. All right, let's go to the next football team here around the Arizona Cardinals. Jordan Hicks, middle linebacker. If cut, Arizona can save $2.9 million. And a lot of the reasons why I picked some of the players on here is because of reports, because of Arizona throwing out a guy like, hey, this guy could be potentially traded. A lot of the time, you got to take that report and say, I really just think Arizona is trying to leak something. That way, when they cast the line out there, maybe somebody will bite and actually trade for Jordan Hicks. Unfortunately for them, the line was cast out. It came back up. No nibbles. And oh, yeah, now you got no bait left on your hook. But what they did do is they drafted Zayvon Collins in round one. I like Zayvon Collins a lot when he was coming out of Tulsa. One defensive player of the year in college football. But at 16 overall, Thought it was a little bit of a reach, but there was a lot of people inside that organization that were like, they really like Collins. And if you're going to take him at number 16, that means he's going to start. So what that, does that mean? Now you got Jordan Hicks as a backup player, and if you're already giving him permission to seek a trade, see you, Jordan. Uh, if, you need, if you need somebody to write your goodbye letter, my handwriting sucks, but my typing skills are pretty good. 118 tackles last season. He's a tackling machine. But it is another perfect example of just because you get a lot of tackles, doesn't always make you a good football player. He's not really good in coverage. He's not really good against the pass rush. He does one thing and one thing only, tackle. But in today's NFL, if you can't cover, and for as a competitive division as this is, that's why they went out and got Collins, who is more of a coverage linebacker. He can do a lot of different things, and he's a very versatile player because, I'm sorry, Chandler Jones is one of the most underrated players in the league. Isaiah Simmons, another extremely underrated player that they drafted in the first round. They signed Marcus Golden, and now you have Collins. There's just nowhere really where you're going to put somebody like Hicks. So type JH down in the comments section if you think that Arizona – is going to move on from Jordan Hicks after June 1st. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe there's a team that goes out and trades for him. And, you know, I, I think the, what you're going to see here is a lot of these players get cut and then end up signing with some other teams. One of the players that I really, really like and had a bit of a breakout year last year, shout out to the Oklahoma State grad, Emmanuel Ogba. But if you're Miami and you're trying to save some money, $7.5 million is a lot of money, right? Ogba also was one of the players that did not show up to the Dolphins' first day of OTAs, voluntary OTAs. I understand it's voluntary. However, let's just hypothetically say you're on the last year of your contract, exactly like Ogba is. I'm a believer that you should try to show up, especially when somebody drafted you know, Jalen Phillips in round one, number 18 overall. I'm not saying that Phillips is going to take his job because Agba did do exactly what he needed to do last year. Nine sacks, 42 tackles, 11 tackles for a loss. Do I also think that a lot of those sacks came because of how solid of a defense and just because nobody could get open with Byron Jones and Xavier Howard? Yeah, a little bit. However, still coming off a nine-sack season to get cut, that's not an easy thing to be able to do. But for Miami, you have no dead cap hit whatsoever. You can save 7.5. As it stands right now, this is what I believe the Dolphins' defensive front would look like if they were trying to go with a 3-4 front. They're really high on Andrew Van Ginkle and Beagle. Beagle didn't play last season. I actually think it's one of the biggest reasons why this team decided to move on from one, um, oh my gosh, Kyle Van Noy. But you also have to remember the guy that they drafted in the first round, Jalen Phillips. He's going to be a starter somewhere on this defensive front. But if he's, you know, not, I'd be absolutely shocked. But let's face it, you draft somebody in round one, they're going to end up starting. So if you think that Emmanuel Ogba should be cut, I want you to go down in the comments section right now 
and please let me know. I'm a believer that I, if I'm Miami, I'm going to keep him because you were 10-6 last year. That defense is pretty solid. He's a good player, knows exactly what he needs to do. And if you don't want to keep him next year, then you don't go ahead and keep him. So uh, personally, I wouldn't type EO, but it is definitely a player to keep in mind. Now, if you think we do a halfway decent job here around Chat Sports and you want to get to know me and the entire team a little bit better, hit me up on Instagram. I'm at MitchellRen365. My DMs are open. And if you want to give some love to the guy pushing all the buttons behind the screen, he does a lot of hard work around here too. His name is Jeremy Beadling. It's at J.I. Beadling. I'll put both my Instagram and his Twitter in the description. I think a lot of times after a hard work of weeking or hard week of working, get it together, Mitch. It's always nice to check your DMs and when you see somebody say, hey, man, I love this video here. Or, hey, you guys did a great job there. No, I think everyone likes a nice little pat on their back once in a while. So hit us up, IG, Twitter. They were down below. The next guy coming up here is Jameson Crowder. I would love some chowder right now. I'm actually starving. Is, is anybody out there clam chowder? Yes or no? Red or white kind? You let me know. If cut, the Jets, they can save $10.38 million. I like Crowder a lot. He was a good, nice little safety blanket for Sam Darnold, and I think he could be exactly that for Zach Wilson. However, $10 million is a lot of money for your hypothetical, let's say, third four receiver. Now, do I think Crowder, if he was maybe didn't get cut, would get a lot more targets? Sure. But you also have to see what the Jets are doing, and they're building for the future. And unfortunately for him, Elijah Moore is the future, and Moore coming out of Ole Miss is a player that I liked a lot and actually comps very similar to Crowder, only he's a lot more athletic. So if you're sitting here saying, okay, he's been linked to trade rumors, apparently the Jets have been trying to get rid of him for months, and now he's going to make, you know, you could save $10 million. I mean, you can see where I'm going with this. They're going to probably move on from him here. Because when you see the depth chart, and for those of you that are actually following chat sports and are staying up to date, Corey Davis, he hurt his shoulder. Everything that I personally have seen is says that he is going to be okay. So for anyone out there that's like, Mitch, they're not going to cut a guy because Corey Davis is hurt. Well, guess what? Davis is going to be okay. You got Denzel Mims, who you drafted in the second round out of Baylor. Now you have Elijah Moore, another solid receiver. Those are your top three players right there at the receiver position. Plus, they have a solid tight end, too, who, for whatever reason, his name's escaped me right now, even though I draft him every year on my fantasy team. All right, let's go to JC here. If you think that the Jets should cut Jamison Crowder, go down in the comments section right now and let me know. Chris Herndon, that's the tight end's name. All right, I had to get it. I was driving myself nuts in here. You don't want to be stuck inside this mine sometimes because you never know what's going to happen. So type JC if you think the Jets should cut Jamison Crowder. All right, y'all, so here are my five post-June 1st cut candidates. I was talking to my man Harrison Graham, and he's probably going to be coming out with a video about June 1st trade candidates. So if that interests you whatsoever, hit that big red button that says subscribe and turn on those notifications. That way you don't miss it.